Hello, this is part two of my Chromatic uh, Home Customizing Tips, I guess is what we'll call it. Um, the first one I showed everyone how to clean and polish the slider. Well, you can do the same thing with Chrome, with our cover plates. Okay, let me get in here. You really can't see that this is dirty, and it's, and it's not really that dirty. But, it's, you know, it's, it looks kind of clean, I guess. It's hard to tell. The lighting looks it's so shiny, it's hard to, hard to see. But, okay, so this is a clean paper towel. And, again, I'm just going to put a couple small dabs of the semi-chrome polish on here. Okay, so... What I did, okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, you, can, you can see where it is. So I'm going to take the cover, instead of putting it in line with that, I'm going to put it this way. So I'm going to lay it across there and then fold it over. So what I'm going to do is, is going to be polishing the inside and the outside at the same time. Uh, and more than anything else, what this really does is it makes it just absolutely perfectly clean. Um, so it'll slide in your mouth better and, you know, now you got all the funk off it. Okay. You can see I didn't do that very long and that's pretty black. Okay. So anything that's stuck on there, any oxidation, just anything at all, it's just taking everything off which is good because nothing needs to be there especially if you're sticking it in your mouth right um, so I'm just getting what I'm doing now is I'm getting uh, what I call the ears the parts in the end where the where the bolts go, th go through right here just uh, getting that part a little bit as much as I can so that gets a little funky All right, so now I'm going to fold it over so that I have part of the paper towel that has nothing on it. And do the same thing again. So now we're just taking all the polish off and, and whatever funk is still on there. And like I say, I do the, I'm doing the inside of it and the outside of it at the same time. Just so that it's all clean. Okay. And I always do this three times. I do it once with the polish and then twice uh, just the paper just the paper towel taking all the removing all the polish and whatever else is still stuck on there. Okay. Seems to work pretty good. There's not there's really no I don't think it says in the instructions exactly how to do it. It just is caution, keep out of reach of children, and don't swallow it. If you do and do something, I'm pretty sure if you swallow this, you'd probably vomit on your own. You wouldn't have to induce it, but if anybody was wondering. Okay. Okay. Again, I don't know if this camera on this computer is going to show that there's any difference or not. But let's see, can I get an angle here? It certainly does show that it's pretty gosh darn clean and shiny. This is a harmonica that's probably 15 years old. Okay, all right, so I'll do that with the other plate too. And the other thing I wanted to talk about, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to show you this because I know this camera won't pick this, pick what up, uh, pick what up, uh, pick it up when I'm trying to, uh, when I would be, be trying to show you. I, I know it won't, you, you won't be able to see it. Okay, this is Devco Home Contact Cement. What I do with this is I'll take, uh, I use this on old chromatics, the older style that have the slide and the two pieces of the slide that are 
sandwiching, you have the slide, and you have two other pieces. Then you'll have the mouthpiece, and then the, the harmonica is below that. Uh, what I'll do is take those two pieces that this the slide slides in between. I'll take one of them, I'll glue that to the mouthpiece, and I take the other one and I glue it to the comb of the harmonica without the replace on it. Okay, and what that does is it just eliminates uh, different uh, points that air can leak out of it. Because that's the biggest problem with chromatic harmonicas is they're, they're leaking. This, that really makes a difference, okay? This is the only contact cement I've used, so I don't know for sure what it's like using other manufacturers, but this is pretty runny. Uh, you have to really go gently. Uh, you gotta go slow, and it's messy. So you gotta put it down slowly, and then take the two pieces. You have to make sure that they're lined up perfect. Take something that's kind of heavy and put it on top of them. Like I say, make sure it's lined up perfect because I've done it before when it's not and you got to take it apart and that's a pain in the ass and you got to scrape all the stuff off it and do it again. You don't want to do that because I have and it's no fun. All right, when you get done doing that, I usually let it sit for about 24 hours. After that, there's going to be excess that squeezed out. You have to take a sharp implement, uh, razor blade, exacto knife, really sharp pocket knife and cut that stuff off because there can't be any of the contact cement in between the two pieces that the slide uh, moves in. All right, that, that, that channel, there can't be any in there. Uh, so if there is, you know, you, you've got to remove that. Okay, now, before I put the harmonica back together again, what I did with the slide, the, uh, the polish that I used on there, I also do it on the two sections of the channel that the slide rides in, okay? So one of them, one piece is gonna be now glued to the face of your harmonica. The other section is gonna be glued to, your, to, the, to the mouthpiece. So I polish those two parts, and then I rinse on them off very well with uh, hot water and dry them off, and then put it all back together again. Okay, so if anyone does this and you have any questions, you're more than welcome to message me on Facebook. All right, hope this helps.